Day two of sentencing in the Molly Corbett and Tom Martin's case wrapped up about an hour ago. A judge is deciding how long they should go to prison for the killing of Corbett's husband, Jason. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake spent the day in court where they got to see some interesting evidence today. Right, Chad. So today in court, we were able to physically see the two murder weapons used to kill Jason Corbett. We also watched a 90 minute video of Tom Martins. He's talking to investigators just hours after the killing back in 2015. You can hear him on the video saying things like I hit him. I hit him with a baseball bat. He also said I was just scared to death. He was going to kill her. Martins told investigators that him and his wife Sharon came to visit his daughter Molly Corbett and her family. Late that evening, Martin says he woke up to the couple arguing upstairs. He says he walked into their bedroom and saw Jason's hands wrapped around his daughter's throat. Martins then hit Jason Corbett in the head with a metal baseball bat. Molly and Jason got married and moved to Winston-Salem from Jason's home country of Ireland back in 2011. Molly was Jason's nanny after his first wife died from an asthma attack. Martin said in the interview that Jason and Molly argued constantly in their relationship. The night of the murder, Martin says he and Jason fought back and forth with that bat. Molly then hit her husband with a brick paver left on the nightstand. In 2017, Corbett and Martins were sentenced to 25 years in prison for the death of Jason. In 2021, the state Supreme Court overturned their convictions, citing errors in the trial. A jury trial was supposed to take place in Forsyth County next week, but that's not going to happen due to the plea deal reached. Just yesterday, we learned that Molly pleaded no contest to voluntary manslaughter, and her father, Tom Martins, pleaded guilty to the same charge. Now, since the beginning, the father and daughter have claimed self-defense in this incident. We'll be coming back to court every day this week to figure out what happens. Live in Davidson County, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.